Hi lovelies and welcome back to my channel and on today's episode I'm going to be showing you how to make the most delicious slimy soup called Ogbono soup so stay tuned as I'll be taking you through all the processes and that will be right after this intro don't touch the down You're welcome back. This is my beef stock that I have already cooked and then I added in my nicely washed dried fish and people after that people will be adding in with our palm oil and after adding the palm oil we we'll allow that to cook up while we'll be blending our ogbono in the blender. This time I'm going to be blending it wet okay. So in the blender jar, I've added in my onions and my scotch bonnet pepper and then I'm going to be adding in my finely washed ogbono into that. Then I'll do what? Pour in water to blend. And after that, people, please share this video, like, and also don't forget to comment at the end. In case you're new, this is the time to hit the subscription button. Now you can see this has been nicely blended and we are going to be pouring that into the pot. And then people at this point, I didn't have to cover this pot again so that all the sliminess of this my ogbono can really come up. And now I added in my iru which is my word locust beans. And after that, I'm adding in my what? My oei. And people, this gives us that local taste of an ogbono soup. And here comes the word powdered dried fish okay and here you can see the obono is cooking up and everything is coming together nicely and i just added in the seasoning cube and right away i'm adding in the crayfish flavor powder and after that i'll be squeezing in the oziza leaf people can you make your bono soup without oziza leaf let me know that in the comment section and after that people i'm just going to stir and allow that to cook a little and you can see the sliminess really coming up well at this point, I've already added in my proteins and now I'm adding in the what? Finely washed spinach leaves. After adding in the spinach, I'm going to be topping it up with my crayfish. This is the last ingredient that will be entering this pot. And after this, people, I'm just going to stir and allow that to do what? To steam for less than two minutes. And this ogbono is what? Ready. Have you thumbs up this video? Have you? Have you? If you haven't, please go and hit the thumbs up right now because we deserve your like in this video. So this is ready and I've dished out and I enjoyed this with my kartoffel puree. Kartoffel puree is potato puree puree and this looked like expanded yam it was so delicious so so inviting so what will you be taking this down with let me know that in the comment section so my lovely ones on a good and pleasant note it will be a great pleasure to have all your beautiful and gorgeous looking faces in the next episode of mom as a kitchen and more remember i love you all but in all god loves you most see you all in the next one and this is me signing out and saying what bye bye